welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I worked this morning at my parents' home. Now I decided to go do some shopping for the apartment. If anything, it's more like of a, a little pre-shopping tour. And I am looking into buying a car, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So um, yeah, that will happen. I don't know when. The having a dining room table, for example, is more urgent for me right now. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I got back from the shopping and I didn't buy anything. Um, there was a few things I liked and I took pictures, but I want. I always like to let things sit in before I actually make a purchase. But I had made a list of a few things that I needed for the kitchen. And my mom was like, don't get any of it. I have way too much. I can just give it to you. And um, here are a few things that she offered to give me. There's this vase or candle holder. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, but I think, yeah, either candle or a flower in it. But it's very pretty. It's like this oniony black shape. I think it's going to be really nice. Um, and then I needed some like small appetizer bowls for, you know, when you're having friends over. So she got me, well, she gave me these really nice bowls which are gonna be just perfect they're also great for ice cream i'm thinking yeah they're originally ice cream bowls and then i also needed a big large salad bowl for when i want to make salads and this is the one she's not using anymore and then a few other things just back there uh, for like oven dishes um, that's great. That's a lot of things that I don't have to purchase and um, there are some things that I will look to get vintage as well but if I can get it for my mom or grandma that's even better. We might go on a like hike with my brother now in a little bit. It's a beautiful day. I'm just knackered. I'm just really tired but I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day with my brother and have dinner my parents and yeah <laughs> hi everyone good morning so I moved my desk there uh, we're in the office now and uh, I don't know I'm thinking of moving the bedroom here but I'm not 100% sure I don't know I think I'm just gonna keep the bedroom where it is for now and then Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, anyways, I ordered a few things for my desk. I ordered a printer and I ordered a desktop because I've been working on a laptop for the longest time and it's not good for my back and posture. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll be faster with a proper desktop, we'll see. It will take time for me to get used to it, but I got a whole new like work computer setup which I'm really excited for and I've been waiting for it since December. So um, I'm finally going to set it up. I got the LG 4K display and I'm very excited to see what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set up a few things in the office and then I'll show you when it's done.
So, um, just came back from the lake. I went to, I had therapy in the end of the morning, which was really good. Um, I will talk more about it in the podcast. And then I went for a lunch at the lake, but forgot to bring my camera with me. It was really nice to get some sunshine. And now I just came back home and I received a parcel, which I'm so excited about. It's so cute. It's one of you guys um, who makes her own ceramics. And she sent me a little bowl. And I was looking for a bowl sort of this size for like appetizers because my mom gave me the small tiny ones yesterday and I was looking for something a little bit bigger to like put hummus or guacamole or some chips and this is just gonna be perfect and she also sent me a little cup <laughs> and it's so funky and cute and I love the colors and it's just so pretty I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much, Carlina, if you're watching this vlog. I will put the Instagram um, for her ceramics down below in the description in case you guys are interested. They're all handmade and it's a very small one person business, but I wanted to share it with you because it's so, so cute. Oh, this is so exciting. I love homeware. So, so nice. And it fits, it fits in the, the color scheme here so well. Let me show you. Look how good this looks with the table. Well, it's not my dining table. It's just a temporary desk that I put as a dining table. But I'm probably going to get a wooden table like this color. I just got back from a run. It was a 15 kilometer run in the vineyards and it was really beautiful. Um, went with my friend Chloe, we ran for like an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Um, it was really good. I usually don't do longer runs like this but on Wednesday she's off work, so it was great. I'm gonna go shower now and um, then I'll show you the setup because I finished setting up the office. Sorry, there is some noise outside. I hope this is gonna stop soon. <sighs> oh, so good. It wasn't really sunny, but we still saw a little bit of sunrise, which is really nice. There we go. This is... So this is the new desk setup, at least for now. I will change the chairs while um, that's it for the setup. And so basically now I'm only working on the big one, but I can always unplug the laptop and then go work somewhere else. Everything is on the laptop and the laptop is connected to the display. Uh, and then I could also work on both together if I wanted to. Um, yeah. It feels very big, but I think it's going to be really much better for my posture and maybe I'll be working faster, who knows. I threw myself into the idea of baking some carrot cake because I have a friend coming for tea, like 4 or 5 p.m. and then I have a friend coming for dinner and I didn't plan any dessert or anything, so I was like, this is a perfect day to bake something. Um, I've worked quite a bit this morning and I'm feeling really like my head is going to explode so I'm going to bake carrot cake and so I'll have something to eat for like the afternoon and then for dessert tonight. <laughs>
Thursday. How d is it Thursday already? I can't believe how fast this week's gone. Like, ugh, it's crazy. These days, it's just very much of a blur. Um, I went to the hardware store, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, to get some fake, like, PVC lining for the floor. So I wanted to change the bathroom floor. Um, because I'm quite sick of this one. Although it's not terrible, but it's just not really nice. And I thought, I wanted to have a little DIY, like, renovation thing going on. And so I thought this would be the perfect thing to do. So I'm gonna, um, I had to get two rolls because the bathroom is separated into two parts. Um, and I'm gonna be able, I think, to do the first part now. But the second part, I will do it another time because I have to cut it because there's the toilet and everything. Um, but I want to put this one on now to see how it looks and if it's nice. And I got this like dark gray one. Um, that looks, it's not really marble, it's more like granite. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's a really dark gray and I think it's gonna contrast really nicely with the white like cream tiles. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what it looks like. I think it's gonna maybe make the bathroom look a little bit more like, yeah, contrasted and a little bit more modern because this is what I'm dealing with at the moment. This is the current floor. It's not very pretty and I have these like grandma flowers on the walls, which thankfully they're not everywhere. I had just have a couple, but yeah, I thought maybe just changing the floor already will already make things a lot more modern and nice looking. Um, so let's try it, let's see. vacuum first. Also, I'm wearing these clothing because I just went on a run with my mom. We went to like the hardware store and then we went on a run so we kind of did all at once over lunch break. Um, which is very like my mom and I. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this looks all nice, but it's too big a little bit, so I'll have to cut it on this side and I'll have to cut it around here as well. But I already really like the colors together. It just is gonna be really nice. The floor will not be like glued onto the other floor on the tiles. It will be like I just put it there and then I will do like a silicone thing around it and it shouldn't move. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, I, well I didn't finish, but I finished cutting and I cut all around the toilet and around those pipes. Oh my God, this makes such of a big difference. I'm gonna try and show you. So nice. I'm gonna have to clean it all up now. It took so long. I need to get into the shower and work for a few more hours. And it's not like finished. It will be like nicely sealed and everything, but that is not happening today. It was a workout in itself. Um, it looks a lot darker. I think because it's like against some white and stuff um, but I really wanted that contrast and so yeah I'm really excited I think it looks great looks a lot more modern and clean and nice I like it Good morning. 
um, oh, today was n was not the expected start I wanted it to have. Um, it's been a bit frustrating, to be honest. And I've had a lot of emotions and things coming up. Um, I am with Tanya today and we're working together, which is really nice. And um, I also, one other thing that frustrated me today was that I was on the phone with the, like, my internet provider and I, like, I was supposed to get it on Monday and it's Friday and I don't have internet in my home, which is really a problem for the job I do. And they were telling me that we had to start all over again. But it's really not fun and um, hopefully next week I'll finally have good internet and Wi-Fi in the home again because this is needed. Um, anyways. I just received a really exciting parcel this morning and I wanted to share it with you. This is a parcel from Revel Team, um, which is an online marketplace for sustainable brands and they have fashion but they also have beauty and home stuff. So I got a few different things that I wanted to show you. So I got mostly things for the apartment. Um, the first thing that I got is this set of hand body lotion and hand and body wash which is really cute and it's this like green dark green color uh, i think this is gonna look really nice and put together in the bathroom i got also a duvet which is kind of like one of those throws that you would put in like in the living room for when you watch a movie and something but it's more like a duvet really it's super super soft and comfy and i might also put it in the bedroom if I feel like it. It's like really in between a, a blanket and a duvet and it's really cool. I like it a lot. It's from a, a brand called Reborn in Color and it looks like this. This really nice green color. So excited. This is the kind of uh, blanket I'll be um, snuggling in when I watch movies on the projector and I might most likely fall asleep on the couch and then one last one last thing I got is a cashmere jumper from Ayayu it's called and it's like this very nice and soft ribbed gray jumper and I think this is gonna be so nice and um, as much as we're coming towards the end of winter there's still some cold weather coming ahead um, in the upcoming week so this is gonna be perfect because it's very thin but I'm sure this keeps super warm and I've been really happy with like cashmere recycled cashmere pieces because they're really high quality and they're extremely comfortable and soft and they're pieces that really, really keep you warm without having to put on many layers. So this is a really nice piece and I'm really excited to style it. Um, big thank you to Rebel Team for uh, sending me these things. Um, I will put a link down in the description with a discount code where you can get 10% uh, off anything that you p purchase on their website. Also, this is not sponsored. This is... Um, this, these things were gifted to me um, and I've worked with them in the past before also with for unsponsored content and I really like their products so that's why I'm pursuing the collaboration with them um, yeah that's it um, I'm gonna have, go have lunch now at the lake and um, then keep working this afternoon Hi guys, happy Saturday. We're on a walk with Desiree. Hi. We were friends in Berlin yes. and now she moved to Switzerland because it's so much nicer yes. here. Um, and she's visiting me for the weekend and so I wanted to show her the vineyards and we are going on a walk and the lake and it's sunny today. So yeah, I've never, I ate this when I was a kid, but like, oh, chocolate bread. Like just bread, you know, it's like a bun. <laughs> like, a, mm. like a, you know. How do you know it's vegan? Mm. It says, like, 
they have vegan ones and non-vegan ones. Today we made, amongst other things, we made candles and there is one already, the candle wick is here, it just needs to be scraped out, but then we made a hole through the mold and now the wick is out and I didn't have any like dyes, so I put turmeric in the, what is it called, wax? And now it's yellow because I have yellow flowers. I want to get yes. yellow candle. It's quite a neon yellow. It's so yeah. It's super strong. Oh the turmeric came to the top! Look! <laughs> But it's oh quite accurate. Yeah. What do you think? But look, this is orange there because all yeah. the turmeric powder came there. It's gonna burn fast. I'm gonna burn it so then it's only this color. Nice. Nice, it's huh? Pretty. <laughs> okay, I think next time we're learning. Huh? Yeah. Next time I should filter mm -hmm. the wax. Yeah. But then like how do I wash it in this one? Because we have this thing. Yeah, but the color. You um, can put. You can put it through a coffee filter, maybe. Coffee filter. You know, like this thing you have here, but not this thing, but the the ones you just use once and then throw it out. Oh, maybe. Is, I don't think the. Or maybe it's too thin. Yeah, but something like this. Yeah, I think this is. But then, how do you wash it? That's. Well, not bad huh? for a second try. <laughs> and it's not even yellow, the mold. Yeah, that's true. I got this mold on the internet. You can buy these online and they have all sorts. But since I never did it before, I wanted just to order one and see if it worked. Because I use a lot of candles, but then there's always like leftover wax and I don't want it to go to waste. So I thought. I really want to make my own candles and then I saw a video on YouTube of someone who was making um, a DIY for these candles and I was like, why did I not think about this earlier? So I got the mold! Wonderful. Okay, next time it will be even nicer. Mm -hmm. How does it smell? It smells. Okay, it's like a mix of the like vanilla and the pine, pine essential yeah. oil, but I put enough pine. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. It smells strong. strong. It smells a bit strong, huh? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> It's Monday and I'm gonna end up the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching it. Um, it really means a lot to me and your comments on the previous vlogs have been extremely positive and it um, really, really warms my heart. Before we move into next week's vlog, which I'm gonna start shooting tomorrow, I want to take a little bit of time to introduce Squarespace to you guys, which is the sponsor of this video. And as some of you may know, I've been using Squarespace website since the last year and I really enjoy it. It's a great service if you wanna create your own online store or website or blog. 
I have been sharing some blog posts about um, books I've been reading, experiences I've had um, anything that's kind of like popping up in my life that I want to share more of and I want to write about I share in the blog so I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out and if any of you guys have been thinking about creating your own website or blog you can go to squarespace.com to get a free trial it's a great way for you to have hands on the program and see if you like it and if it suits your current needs and then if you want to launch your website and you're ready to go you can go to squarespace.com slash to get 10% off your order of a website or a domain. Um, yeah, more information will be down in the description as always. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so, so much. And I'm just really excited to keep vlogging. I'm wearing this shirt. I know I will be getting some questions. This is from a brand called Bonafide and it's from Portugal. Um, check it out. It's a small brand and they do really nice stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much. Bye. See you next week. Bye.